Item number SCP-6104 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-6104 is to be placed in a search-proof containment chamber and plugged in at all times on standby power. SCP-6104 must be routinely powered on for maintenance and inspection every 120 hours for maintenance and inspection. Tampering with SCP-6104's hardware without express permission is to be met with swift disciplinary action. Description SCP-6104 is a Toshiba L9300 Ultra HD 4K television. When powered, it will only display the channel for ice skating to the death. An apparent variation of ice skating, which takes the form of a combat sport. No other channels are available, and the TV itself is missing hardware to receive radio frequencies to access such channels. Further investigation is ongoing on the source of SCP-6104 source of the channel. When the show begins, it displays over 15 minutes of perpetual advertisements and introduction flair. The advertisements have an anomalous update, non-anomalous effect of inducing hunger, thirst, and a desire to leave the vicinity of the television out of striking boredom. Following the introduction, the rules are announced. They are as follows. Audience members may not put their limbs into the arena as a safety precaution. Each team must bring an assistant with a medical background Injuries, casualties, and fatalities are not to be reported, or the reporter will be denied access to future events. Skaters are expected to use the blades on their feet as weapons, and as such, cannot modify them with the exception of the weight of the blade for the purposes of comfort or anatomical limits. As of BEEP 2016, four amendments have been made. Firearms are prohibited to the players, coaches, spectators, insiders, Zamboni drivers, medical malpractitioners, two ex machinas, protagonists, and plot enhancers. Note, firearms are usually carried by the team's designated medical staff as a form of influenza. The affliction of unnecessary and or excruciating pain to teammates is prohibited. Arsenic-based life forms are banned. Rotisserie chicken should not be a concession in any games. The base game used as an example was recorded on May Beep 2017. The basic events are listed in the script below. The Blade Dancers vs. On Nice. 21 seconds, the teams enter the rink. Lined up in different formations, the Blade Dancers appear to have a charged lineup. The blade dancers appear to have a surgeon as the medical assistant, while the Omnices has a druid claiming to be from the Western Bung tribes of Young Gossasarth. For five seconds, the announcer gives a countdown and then allows the teams to clash. The blade dancers skaters start a charge into the Omnice captain. The Omnice skaters form into a common skating technique used to combat skating charges. However, the formation is interrupted, as a mask is held by Omnice to the 15th century song Dance Maccabe by Sin Sense. 1 minute 20 seconds. The blade dancers have gathered enough momentum to charge and charge through the center of the Omnice mask. The blade dancers have their feet facing outwards in an offensive maneuver. The announcer berates the blade dancers by using such a common tactic instead of switching it up. 1 minute 40 seconds. The blade dancers shed first blood and the injured Omnice player is escorted back to the medic by the Omnice captain and two skaters. Several blade dancer skirmishers strike at the Omnice skater cade, but the strikes were parried away with the sides of the ice skates. 1 minute 50 seconds. The skater cade delivers the injured player successfully to the team's surgeon. The surgeon begins to stitch the wound. The skater cade breaks up and they return to counter the charge. 2 minutes 7 seconds. The charge is successfully split with the fusion strategy and Omnice encircles the blade dancer formation.
Two minutes, 35 seconds. The blade dancer captain yells a code word in an unknown language, and the trap becomes apparent. The blade dancer skaters break formation into a flank, decimating the omnice. Two minutes, 50 seconds. All omnice are injured or deceased. A victory is declared for the blade dancers. Addendum 1, on beep, 2010. A containment breach occurred at the site currently housing SCP-6104. During this breach, Senior Researcher Keynes locked himself in SCP-6104's containment cell with two other security personnel. While taking refuge in this cell, the three faculty made an unanimous decision to neutralize SCP-6104 via bludgeoning. Following this incident, SCP-6104 ceased anomalous activity and was declared neutralized. Although SCP-6104 was declared neutralized, the former Foundation staff members assigned to SCP-6104 continued experimentation and attempted to repair the entity using a combination of its original hardware and ordinary hardware. Since the completion of these repairs, SCP-6104 displays unusual properties and has seemingly changed anomalous effects. It is uncertain whether and ever during repairs or the nature of the neutralization caused these changes. Further testing on SCP-6104 reveals a bit rules from the standard, often deviating in the core rules set of the game. These rules vary with each activation of the anomaly, and no real results have been recorded below. Experimental Law Subject Researcher Ung Procedure The device was powered after 48 hours of standby power. Result The normal content continued as usual until the presentation or the presentation of the players. A humanoid entity in standard soccer equipment appeared on both sides of play, designated the soccerer, and was given a standard white soccer ball. The game proceeds as usual, although in variation from previous games, the soccerer had the role of kicking the soccer ball towards enemy skaters. Analysis this behavior is unusual and appears to be a variation of protect the president with the soccerer being a high value target. However, the word soccerer itself seems to play on sorcerer, despite no thaumaturgical properties manifesting within the soccerers. Subject Janitor Peterson Procedure The device was powered without any input at 1304 during researcher Ang's scheduled lunch break. Janitor Peterson was in the vicinity of the device at the time and observed the anomaly. Result, each skater started with abnormally small blade on their ice skates. Each injury or fatality a skater inflicted increased the size of the blade by 0.5 inches in length. The game ended upon a skater reaching a 13-inch blade. Analysis SCP-6104 appeared to have reacted to Janitor Peterson's self-proclaimed Grandmaster rank in the popular first-person shooter Counter-Strike Global Offensive as a parody on the gun game game mode in which you achieve victory by obtaining weaponry for each elimination made in game. However, Janitor Peterson's claim to be the Grandmaster rank is false and the rank in question does not exist in-game. Although this is the first time SCP-6104 has shown capacity to react to audio stimuli, it does not appear to be able to discern lies. Subject, Agent Defetsky. Procedure, the device was powered as stated by the instructional menu after 40 minutes of standby power. Agent Defetsky was chosen due to its Former involvement in ice skating. Result: Rather than the cameras focusing on the main Lincoln players, the cameras instead focused on the table in the partition in the audience stand. The game did not track points for the regular combat and instead displayed the remaining money of the audience members who were gambling. Gamblers spontaneously combusted upon having no remaining money to spend. Analysis. 
The game completely deviated from its original combative focus. It is not clear whether this change was a reaction or coincidence in relation to Agent Dvetsky's losing two US dollars in a bet made previously that day. The entity did not react to his previous involvement with ice skating, however. Subject D11014 Procedure The device was powered as stated in the instruction manual after 30 hours of standby power. Result The skating rink usually present in the film was replaced by an urban landscape consisting of only Starbanks Cafangs, a fictional coffee chain only present in this constructed landscape. The chain appears to be a parody of the popular coffee chain Starbucks. The purpose of these buildings are unknown. As the skaters are not mobile enough to reach neither the buildings nor the enemy team. The match concluded in a tie as the game reached overtime due to the lack of ice or other materials suitable for ice skating. Analysis The alteration of the gameplay was completely irrelevant and prevented the game from functioning. The device did not seem to possess a desire to hold audience retention, or though upon inspection of weather games, the changes were potentially linked to a sponsorship deal. Subject Researcher on Procedure The device was powered or submerged in 15 meter of tap water via D9081 after 40 minutes of standby power. Result, the skaters proceeded as normal through their game until 2 minutes 24 seconds, where it is revealed that all skaters were chosen because of their fear of water. At this point, the rink begins to melt as a large fish approximately 15 meter by 6 meter by 9 meter with Scion scales began to bite and swallow contestants alive. The game ended when all skaters from a team were devoured. Analysis SCP-6104 appears capable of irony. Additionally, SCP-6104 has been shown to be functional even while in the presence of water. Although the boat quality and materials used in its appears should not have displayed such resilience to liquids. Subject Researcher Ong Procedure The device was powered by Researcher Ong while ice skating in place with standard 8 inch bladed ice skates in an artificial patch of ice after 120 hours of standby power. Results, each skater acted as standard, although appeared to act in mockery of researcher Ong, often skating in place and falling flamboyantly to the ground. This mockery is present throughout the entire recording, although it is never explicitly mentioned by any entity in the recording. Analysis, the device appears to exhibit signs of elitism, especially with ice skating form. Subject Researcher Ung Procedure The device was powered by Researcher Ung after 40 hours of standard power while ice skating in a proper ice rink. In addition to having taken formal ice skating classes during the weeks prior. Result Although the game proceeded as normal, the commentator had a marked British accent and was extremely critical of the skater's form. The commentators War excessively. Whenever a fatality occurred, the audience began a posh laughter rather than cheering. Analysis. The device appears to be creating a satirical parody of celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay and often implied that the criticism was of researcher Ung's form. Subject. Researcher Ung. Procedure. The device was powered as stated in the instruction manual after 30 hours of standby power. Result, the game proceeds as standard. At the four minute mark, a two minute news break begins, despite the game not passing. During the 21st seconds of the news break, a humanoid news anchor with black tentacles protruding from his head discusses the political relevancy of ice skating. During the remaining 99 seconds, he tells his joke describing a turkey entering a bar. The joke itself has no punchline, and the entirety of the time was spent setting up the joke. Analysis. The next three following tests also had a news break at four minutes. However, the news anchor only told punchlines for two minutes in each one. Additionally, in the third test, 
the news anchor procured a loot from behind the desk and began to play B.A.D. Chris Conford, a late medieval ballad composed by Guilherme de Machaud. Subject, researcher on. Procedure to the device was powered as standard in the instruction menu after 15 minutes of standby power. Result, skaters wore different hats, indicating a class. No, a counter class is a commonly seen set of archetypes in many digital games and role-playing games. The classes seem to be only varied by the nature of the hat, such as those with a propeller hat being able to fly. Analysis. The hat worn by the skaters was seen in every following test up until the 27th test. Subject D11017 Procedure The device was powered as stated in the instruction menu after 130 hours of standby power. Result The game proceeded as standard, although it was described as eerily quiet by D11017. With the exception of noises produced by the combatants, no commercials or introduction were present. When a winning team was decided, the audience began to applause in unison, and special video effects were used to display curtains closing. Analysis: It is unknown if the lack of extraneous audio in the test resulted from an error originating in the episode's production, or was an intentional variation of the program. Subject, Researcher Ong. Procedure. The device was powered by Researcher Ong after 30 minutes of standby power. Result, the song Sonata in F plays by classical composer George Frederick Handel as the introduction announces high art combat skating. Skaters are much more benign and elegant as their attacks become much more calculated such as what may be typical in fencing. The coaches were dressed in flamboyant dress by clothiers. Analysis. Further testing reveals it considers combat ice skating beneath it, as it prefers the classiness and sophisticated form of high art combat skating. Addendum 2. As of Beep 2023, SCP-6104 no longer varies in rules from game to game. All further recordings show high art combat skating and only mildly vary in which teams compete. Researchers have been unable to coerce SCP-6104 into creating variations of ice skating via audio, video, and electrical stimuli.